Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is me, Captain Energy. I just wanted to make a quick video to answer a question by one of my subscribers who was trying to get their keyboard to work with Reason and they said that they could not get the knobs to connect to the software knobs right here on this combinator or to a synth. And I thought, well, this should be pretty simple. Um, so I went in to try and do that and I went in and I right clicked one of the knobs and I hit uh, edit remote override like you normally would and then I went to turn my knob on my uh, Akai MPK Mini and nothing happened. What should be happening down here is I should see uh, this little control surface activity. You should have like a little green bar bouncing around in it as I turn the knob to let me know something happened and it should detect what I'm what I'm touching here. It should say that this is uh, this keyboard, my Akai MPK Mini and it should tell me what knob it is and, and, and but it's not doing any of that okay and actually in fact if i set it even it doesn't work if i go in and manually set it it's not working so i thought what the heck is up with that well i went and i did find a, a way around this i'm going to forward this video also to uh, reason studio so they can take a look at it to see if it's something that they may want to look into um i don't think it's that dire uh, basically, what it is, it appears that the uh, something's wrong with the MPK Mini uh, built-in detection, the controller here. What you want to do is, I'm going to close this for a second and explain what I did here. Click Edit if you're on Windows or File if you're on Mac and go into Preferences. Go to your Control Surfaces. It's the third tab from the left. Hit this little checkbox to turn it off. And now your MPK Mini is disabled. What we're going to do now is we're going to hit Add Manually. And instead of, I'm clicking this drop down here, instead of picking a Kai and PK Mini and, and doing all the things there, hit Other. This will let you pick a generic controller. Um, all I can tell you is that this works perfectly when you do it this way. Uh, the other way, if something's up, I'm not sure what's going on there. But like I said, I'm going to send it off to Reason and see what they say. But now I pick Other Controller. I pick MIDI control keyboard because that's what this is. It's, it's keyboard with MIDI controls on it, right? Depending if you've got a different interface that's not working, you may need to pick a different one. Um, but I'm just going to go with that because that's what I need. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to give this a name. And now I'm going to hit find. Okay. And rather than try and tell it what I think it is, I'm just going to hit find and turn an knob or press a button or something. And it will tell me that it's the MPK mini three i hit choose i hit okay and now i've got this rather generic looking keyboard here not as pretty as the mpk K, uh preset one but pretty isn't you know beauty's only skin deep if it doesn't work you know what i mean um i'm gonna close this and now if i go over to this control if i right click it and hit edit remote override mapping and now i turn one of the knobs you'll see that I've got the little green bar I mentioned right here going on. See where my cursor is right there? Watch, see, boom, that little green bar tells me that there's activity coming in to reason, and that activity can be filtered down to the software synthesizer. I'm going to hit click OK. And now if I turn the knob and you'll get my combinator up here, you'll notice that I have control over the uh potentiometer right here the volume knob or whatever you want it set it to be this can control anything you want because it's a combinator this can be done directly to your synths also so say i wanted to control uh the delay effect on this particular synthesizer i could right click this edit remote okay and now i'm going to just tell it uh oh, so do it the same way i just turn one of the other knobs okay and now, if you look over here at this delay knob, you'll see that I have control over that with a physical knob. This can be really useful um, in a performance situation if you're recording and you want to really give something an organic feel. <laughs> so many possible uses for it, it's, it's crazy. You can also set these... Uh, to control switches uh if you wanted to control like a button i could just tell it this button right here add that to uh one of the knobs or i could actually even 
Let's see, add that one to a knob just to show you that that works. And here's the knob and on and off. I have control over it. Or if you wanted to and you have enough uh, range on your keyboard to have some extra keys, this particular keyboard's not a great example because they only have 25 keys. Um, or maybe I just go and turn this up to a very high octave that I wouldn't normally play. You know, the synth in that kind of sounds you know, ear piercing. So maybe now I just go, uh, okay, I'm going to take this switch here, right click this, hit edit remote override, and I'm going to put this on C. So I hit the C, C6, there we go, click OK. And now that is a toggle on and off button for that. Also, you'll notice that now you don't hear music sound coming off this uh, key when I press it. That's because when you activate them as a controller, they become a controller, not a, and, and that gets diverted from the sound engine. It doesn't, you know, play music and control something. Uh, so, you know, use it wisely. Um, you can disable it. I can bring it back by just right clicking and hitting clear. And now my C6 is back to normal. But just a thought, if you need more control, that's one way to get it. Anyway, that is how you connect your hardware synth to Reason and control the combinator knobs and the knobs of your virtual synthesizers. If you found that helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for future videos so you'll be able to learn as other people ask more questions or I just provide more information on how to do things. It gives me great joy to help you all out uh, on your musical journey because, I mean, these DAW applications... They can be a little daunting here and there, and, and it's it's nice to have someone in your corner. And for you, that person's me. I mean, I'm there for you all to try to help you through the rough spots uh, and uh, also, you know, produce some music on the way as well for myself. If there's anything else I can do for you all, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Send me a message. I am happy to uh, hear from you all, and I would love to know if this was helpful to you. If it was helpful to you, you know, throw a comment in the, in the you know, on the video. And uh, if it wasn't helpful to you, let me know why and I'll see what I can do. And uh, if there's something in particular that's bugging you or giving you issues, hit me up. I will definitely try to look into it and get you an answer. All right. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much for your time and for being part of my community. I really appreciate you all. Take care.